Hello, Lavas. This is January 13th, commonly remembered as Defenders of Freedom Day by Lithuanians. Well, let me give you a little history of about the Lithuanians. Some four to five thousand years ago, Lithuanians, the Lithuanian ancestors, settled along the Baltic coast in Central Europe. In 1009 AD, the area of present-day Lithuania is first mentioned in historic chronicles. 1236, Lithuania is united by Mindaugas, later crowned king, the first and only king of Lithuania. 1323, Vignus was founded by the Grand Duke Gediminas, and in 1386, Lithuania forms a union with Poland and defeats the German Crusaders. The last pagan country in Europe, Lithuania, converts to Christianity, and they still maintain the defenders of freedom. In 1392, 1430, under Grand Duke Vitovas, Lithuania stretches to the Black Sea and becomes the largest state in Europe. In the 1400s, attracted by tolerant Lithuania, outsiders immigrate to Lithuania, where Muslims, Jews, and others find sanctuary. Between 1569 and 1795, through the Lithuanian-Polish Commonwealth, which is dominated by Poland, traces of Lithuanian nobility disappear. From now on, unified Lithuanian culture is found mainly in the countryside. And then sadly, in 1795, Lithuania disappears as a free country off the map of Europe and falls into the clutches of Tsarist Russia. Between 1860 and 1885, there was an era of national awakening when Lithuanians revived nas nationalistic identity. Then, in 1918, Lithuania declares independence from Russia, and they are the defenders of freedom. 1920, after battling Russia and other regional powers, Lithuania secures independence. That same year, Poland invades Vilnius and occupies the territory. Taunus then becomes Lithuania's temporary capital. In 1939, through a secret pact, Hitler and Stalin carve up Europe in the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Then, in 1940, the Soviet Union occupies and annexes Lithuania, and deportations begin. In an attempt to win Lithuania's support, Moscow hands Vilnius back to Lithuania. Then in 1941, Nazi Germany occupies Lithuania, and mass killings of Jews of Lithuania take place. Lithuania had to deal with three wars at the same time. The Nazis, the Russians, the Poles, and the Bolsheviks from within. In 1944, Soviet occupied Lithuania again. During the next decade, some 700,000 Lithuanians have either deported to Siberia or forced into exile, in prison, or shot. Between 1944 and 1953, the unknown war takes place where the Lithuanian army goes underground as guerrilla partisan fighters with no help from the outside. The defenders of freedom try to establish liberty and freedom. 1987, first open protests against the Soviet rule. And then, in 1990, Lithuania declares independence, the first Soviet republic to do so. Lithuania, led by Vytautas Landsbergis, becomes famous for its gutsy, though nonviolent, independence movement. In 1991, during the crackdown in January, January 13, Soviet troops killed 13 unarmed civilians in Vilnius. Several are crushed to death under tents. And here is where we get the Defenders of Freedom Day remembrance. And in 1991, in August, after a failed Kremlin coup, Lithuania finally wins independence. Yes, the Lithuanians have a long, long tradition a long history as defenders of freedom. Remember today, 
and every day as the defenders of freedom.